हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज़ गोइंग टू बी माय फर्स्ट एवर यूट्यूब वीडियो एंड ऑफ कोर्स आई हैव टू स्टार्ट इट ऑफ विद बिरयानी दिस इज़ हैदराबादी कच्ची बिरयानी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट वील टेक सम ग्रीन चिलीज एंड ब्लैक पेपर कर्नल्स एंड वी गोना पुट दम इन द ब्लेंडर एंड मेक अ कोर्स पेस्ट लाइक दिस so once you have your paste ready we will move on to the gosh so we will use mutton today so i have washed and cleaned and kept my mutton ready so we will take our chili and pepper paste and add it into our gosh now coming to our dry spices so we will take some red chili powder some zeera powder some dhania powder salt garam masala powder and haldi now we will add some mint leaves and some coriander leaves chopped up and we are going to nicely give all of this a mix okay please use gloves i forgot to use gloves and i regretted it i had the biggest and the worst burn on my hand so please use gloves so you have to nicely rub the masalas and the herbs into the gosh and you we're going to let this marinate for like as long as possible like minimum 3 to 4 hours but if you can leave it overnight nothing like it okay so we are going to nicely mix this and next we are going to add some yogurt so the ratio of the yogurt versus the gosh is 1 is to 1 so for 1 kilo gosh you will take about 1 kilo of dahi but go gradually because if you feel that there is too much dahi if you feel that it's leaving out a lot of water then you might not add 1 kilo totally okay so it's all about andaz so now at about this stage when the masala has turned like this i'm going to cover this and keep it in the fridge to marinate overnight okay but you can keep it for about 4 to 5 hours now next coming to our garam masalas we will take a thick bottom vessel and we'll heat up some oil and add all our khade garam masale so we have cinnamon zeera bay leaves star anise some cloves some cardamom and once they are nicely fried we will add them directly to our akhni okay so this is after the marination you will add this into the akhni and mix this nicely okay but be careful you have to add it while it is hot in the meanwhile we'll fry up some onions until they are golden brown and we are going to take this and keep it aside and we are going to retain the oil we are going to use the oil that we used for frying the garam masala and the onion and we are going to keep it for later purpose okay so now we'll come back to our onions we'll take about half of these onions and we'll add it to our akhni and we'll keep half of it for later use so mix the onions into the akhni nicely give it a nice mix now this is our leftover onions we're going to use it for later now coming to our chawal now we are heating up some water with some garam masala and some pudina leaves okay i have added about one cinnamon stick one bay leaf and a little bit of cloves and a little bit of cardamom we'll add our pre soaked chawal into this i soaked my chawal for about 1 hour and when the chawal are about 50% or so done or lesser than that okay like normally for biryani if you would cook for 60 70% this has to be lesser than that okay and we are going to drain it and the first layer will be of our akhni so this akhni is absolutely not cooked it is kachchi and just from the marination and from the dum of the chawal this biryani is going to get cooked and trust me it is worth it it is worth the effort worth the wait it is really mind blowing now we'll use our leftover onions and we are going to layer the biryani but be very quick at this stage otherwise the biryani is just going to get soggy so this is the leftover oil that we had 
fried the onions and this is some saffron mixed in milk. Okay, now I'm going to add some more akhne and make as many layers as possible. Three, four, depends on your quantity. Okay. And the final top layer has to be chawal. So this is my final layer with my beautiful crispy golden brown onions. If some of it is left, you can just keep it. You can use it for garnishing while serving. So the oil that we had retained, we're going to put it now and focus on the sides and close this and let it dumb for a good 20 to 30 minutes. And let's check. Oh my god, it smells amazing. And my Hyderabadi Kachi Biryani is ready.